Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Our I'm seventh Tom. episode. I'm Thomas. I'm Alan. And this is, like I said, Let's Talk Tech. Let's Talk Tech. Okay. We're very excited to be here. Exactly. Yep. Our uh, first segment is going to be on storage devices. Storage devices. Like USBs, flash drives, external hard drives, regular hard drives, SSDs, yeah, SATA floppies. hard drives, beta hard drives, all kinds of hard drives. Floppies. Yeah. Anything that Floppy, holds. Floppies. Anything we are going to talk about. It. Yep, we're going to talk about it. Uh, our second segment is going to be on YouTube. Indeed. Yes, YouTube. Uh, we promise you some Fred videos. You. I. You we may can, know of no. YouTube. If you don't, you're living under a rock. YouTube.com is yep. a very, very, very popular yeah, so, site for yeah, videos. Yeah, we're going to try and show... We're gonna, we have a little, like, mixed footage I made, but we're not showing actual any videos of YouTube. We're going to show you good... We're going to tell you about good clips and yep. try to, um, I don't know... Get, you watch them. Try to get you to watch them. They're okay. Some very good ones. Okay. And our third segment is going to be our usual news segment as we just started doing new... Like what? Last episode? Yeah. Uh, new segment. So uh, last uh, last uh, segment is going to be a new segment. Okay. Storage devices. Uh, storage device is pretty much anything that can hold anything. Floppy drives, hard drives, external hard drives. Yeah. For example. SSDs, solid S state drives, <laughs> flash drives, uh, SATA hard drives, external hard. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Okay, everything let's. Can hold something. I think we should start with regular IDE because that's what a lot of people have, even though we're switching well, to SATA. Well, yeah. Even though we're basically we're me and Thomas are still on SATA drives, but the newer thing is say is uh, our IDE drive. Me and Thomas on IDE, but we're but we're, uh, we're, we're in the we're process of switching over to SATA. Yeah. Okay, so what IDE is, which is pretty much almost obsolete now, but still a lot of people have it. Is pretty much it's the difference is the uh, the time reaction, how much information gets processed, and the cables are different. Uh, in IDE, the cable looks different than in SATA, and the information transfers is slower in IDE than SATA. Yeah. That's why everybody's sli switching yeah. over. Uh, yeah, like Tom said, it's just it tra the transfer rate is much faster, which people like. So most people have switched over to beta, which is uh, like a, which is like it's IDE. like a mix. Yeah, it's like a mix between IDE and SATA. Uh, beta, what else is there? Um, ATA, which is ATA. another mix. Yeah, it's another kind of mix. It's closer to SATA than SATA and farther away from IDE than beta. Um, but yeah, those are the, those are your basic hard drives. But then you have your external hard drives. Uh, the external hard drives, um, they're not recent, but they've started to come out with bigger hard drives like terabytes. Uh, I the, believe. No, no, 1.5 terabytes. I believe they have 1.5 terabytes. They go very high even, but like average price is 100 and yeah, 100 expensive. And Hundred thirty dollars or so for a one point five yeah, terabyte I, external. Yeah. It's not bad. Well, Tom's looking into get, Tom's looking into getting an external. He just ran out of space on his I, I have twenty a, gigabyte drive. Yeah, I have a very <laughs> little drive, and and uh, I game, so I try to put anything, you know, Counter Strike yeah. even. But yeah, they are they are expensive. Terribly. They are they are they they're terribly expensive. That's yeah. why I'd prefer to get like a forty gig. I have for my computer that I'm currently building right now. I it have definitely a, is better to get a solid. Yeah drive that you can put in your computer, but I'm in the process of getting a new computer. Well, how, how big so is that drive I have from the computer I'm building? 450? 450. 400? 400, 400 gig? Well, it's about, yeah, it's 400 gig by flash, he uh, had, uh, you, uh, say it a hard drive. He, uh, we're in the process of building a computer, and it's going to have a, a 400 gig SATA hard drive, and probably it's, it's going to be a pretty good hard computer. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be like, we're going to try and make it to be a gaming computer. Yeah. yeah it's hopeful. Oh, uh, okay. If they don't switch over to another kind. SATA form thing by the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so external hard drives are pretty much, usually they're USB, and they plug in, and they are like another drive on your computer, like your C drive. You can go in, you know, double-click, oh, and yeah, we save have, stuff. We have it right, right here. my hand, uh, finger, right there. Right over there. Right there. Under that app. black thing, yeah. That uh, black that's thing. the, uh, the thing external, under, one yeah. terabyte. And then there's a, the, as you can see, CDs. There's a yeah, there's CDs, floppy the, drive at the bottom there. Yeah. There's a regular so hard drives. drives. Yeah, and the mini the mini CDs, we have to talk about those too. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, let's move on from external to our SATA drives. No, we already talked about SATA drives. Uh, oh, no, oh, we, we were talking about IDE. Oh, okay, okay. SATA, like we said it before in the IDE thing, comparing to them, SATA is pretty much a better IDE for it's a regular in your computer a plug-in and the only really difference between IDE is different cable and a faster transfer rate so information the, transfers uh, the, SATA, the SATA cables are more of a um, they're, they're more of a uh, shorter I don't know maybe a shorter uh, about that uh, about that big about that long 
and then they go they're short and, and, but and yeah. they're and they're f kind of flat just like the IDE ones but the IDE ones are about this long yeah, and yeah compared probably about, to yeah compared probably to this. about this long but they're completely flat compared but, to this in SATA yeah. and actually a lot of computer companies new computers if you buy something usually you're going to get SATA. Yeah, you're if you buy really a brand new computer, then you're probably going to get a either a beta or it's, a SATA, but it's, it's probably not going to be hard to really. F it's really hard to find uh, IDE, no, regular you cannot IDEs. find IDEs. It, Unless you buy hard. them like used yeah. on you know, yeah, Craigslist you gotta buy them or like off eBay Target or Direct or Comp or something. That, that's yeah, so very, you have to go through more dramatic measures than getting a SATA hard drive. Yeah. Okay, so if you know what a CD is, which you probably do, it's yeah. a disc. And, uh, CDRs, CD minus R, CDRWs. Okay, like Al said, CDRWs are just rewritable, so you can take stuff out, put them in. Okay, let rewritable. Me, you, can I? Okay. Um, just just to make just to be sure, um, people that write stuff to discs, RWs are not to be used for people who write. Um, let's say you have a program, uh, you want to make a bootable disc. Don't make the bootable disk in an RW it doesn't because close. it doesn't close. They won't close. It's more like using a flash drive. It's like using your CD as a flash drive. It doesn't close. It just puts the information on the CD and that's it. Which so, will be very hard to make it bootable. It would be much easier if you made it a CDR, a regular CDR. It's non rewritable but it's writable once, and you made yeah. it and you burned it. I prefer, file I prefer CDRs format. over CDRWs any day because yeah, of the fact CDRs that they close. are more. Are just pretty yeah. much more. Yeah, um, they're definitely better to use. Uh, DVDRs. DVDRs, DVD, DVDRWs, DVD. DVD minus just R's. happens to be the format yeah. compared to CD. CD writes a lot of stuff, but DVD you have to have a DVD. And also holds more. The CD only holds what seven. Seven hundred seventy megabytes, and the DVD holds four point seven gigabytes. Yeah. So a big difference there. So obviously, as you can see, you'd rather buy a DVD than a CD. The CD is obviously becoming more obsolete as more people get DVD drives. Yeah, and, and Blu-ray players, like we talked about last time. But, not very, but like we said, Blu-ray is not yeah. becoming too popular with the, yeah. the computers. Well, the, the, uh, the Blu-ray is, like, yeah, like we said, it's not coming too popular, but it does hold more. It holds a lot more space than a DVD, and it also... I believe it's like 8 gigs? Yeah, it's something, it has something like that. Blu-ray holds about like 8 that. gigs. Uh, it, it holds more, and it's also more scratch resistant than the DVDs are. Um, if if you know, if you've ever scratched a CD or a DVD, you know it's very simple. Even yeah. like your Xbox or C, uh, your PS2 well, games, yeah. pretty much the same thing. But if you know you scratch them, it's very yeah, easy. It's, it's well, you could clean them and stuff like that. But sometimes it's easier, it doesn't work. It's easier. And if plus, it's scratch it, resistant. Plus, it's uh, plus it depends on the how sensitive the drive is. Yeah. How um, sensitive the reader is. Mm -hmm, the reader. Okay, so let's go on to a really, really old kind, which you'll probably never use again, but some people do, I guess. Uh, floppy drives. And the floppies. Now, now, do you want to talk about the floppy or the floppy floppy? Let's talk about the regular floppy. Uh, the regular. The square one. It's the first floppy or the second floppy? Second floppy. Oh, there the you one go. Yeah, I got it. The one that's there. right here. The, now, the one, yeah, the one that's... Whew, I have to get used to the screen. The one that's below here, below the CD, it's is right the there. floppy yeah. that we're talking about. It's not that big. It's about this big, but you slide into a, a CD. Uh, 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 you slide it in, and it's basically the same thing as a CD, but it holds a lot less. Yeah, so it hold, yeah, it holds a lot less, like maybe a meg. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's kind of hard to find. Yeah, they're even not, people yeah. who have. Well, you could still buy them. You could still buy them from Staples, but I know, they're it's, not too it's likely used. Very hard to find if you're plugging into. If you're plugging into a new computer, yeah. it's very hard to find. Yeah, I know a lot of newer computers don't have floppy drives. Like the ones Flo I, the floppy ones drives are becoming obsolete, yeah. and it's the ones I fix at work don't have floppy drives. I had to usually connect maybe an external. You can always drive. use an external USB one yeah. or a connect some yeah. kind of external one, but a lot of people don't need to because CDs, DVDs have pretty much taken over, and then even Blu-ray, which not a lot of people write to on the computer, yeah. but has taken over just as much. Okay. Um, um, do you want to talk about mini CDs? Uh, mini CDs, great. They're pretty much the same thing as a CD, but they're hold a little less. But they're very small. Yeah, they're very small. Like this big. Yeah. They didn't really catch on. Like don't <laughs> like don't hold. Tell you the truth, they didn't really catch on. People yeah. didn't want to spend the extra money to buy a mini CD when you could just buy a regular CD. Well, the well the when you, the well the the thing about the mini CDs is that they're small and they're smaller than a CD, so they're less so they have less space, obviously. And they're they're more like a donut and a donut holder. Like this, they're a little bit bigger than a donut hole, but you know, 
but uh, they never caught on. They never that, no. Even though they can fit in your pocket, they have a case that's their own. They never even came close to catching on. Like they like six people got them, and then they pretty much stopped. Well, the the same thing with the business card CDs. It was it's, a couple of months that they came yeah. out for, and they stopped. It business was, card CDs also came out, and you see them at the computer conventions, but you don't see them very much. And no. now the business card CDs, they're the size of a business card, and they look like a business card except they're a CD. So you know, I don't exactly know how that works, but um, you know that those didn't really catch yeah, on either, those, like the mini CDs. Those never caught on. People were really wanted to stick with the regular CD well, and the regular DVD people and wanted, even the Blu-ray. People wanted the mini CD because they had information that was to put on a mini CD that didn't need to be put on a big CD. They had little information, so they didn't want to put it on a big CD and waste all its space. And as well, they wanted it for portability so they could keep it in their pocket. They could keep it in a case in their pocket. So. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, our next little thing here is going to be on USB flash drives. Um, yeah. The, uh, the flash drives, I don't know, they can hold about, uh, it's the most I've seen them was 100 gigs, and it was about the size of a, a business card like we said before, and it comes out the end. And uh, here's a picture. Here's an actual flash drive. <laughs> well, oh my god. Here's oh. a picture, and here's an actual <laughs> flash drive. Yeah, the picture's down at the bottom. Yeah, this is a... Actual flash drive that it comes out, comes, comes back out, in. Comes out, comes in. Now, the reason for this people little like handy re- little uh, out and in thing people is like the retractables people better. like the retractables for the reason that they are retractable. People don't like the fact that they have to put a cap on it because they keep losing the cap. I, I don't. <laughs> I have the cap. No, and I, I always lose, lose the cap all the time. It's really annoying. Yeah. So um, and they can even break even with the cap on. They can even get like junk in them. So oh, it's yeah, kind of yeah. annoying. With the so it's easier with out. the retractable because then you just retract it out and there you go. Exactly. And retract it in when you're done. You don't have to worry about bending off the uh, no. end there. Yeah, and you can get a, if you don't want to go, the, the one I was saying before is 100 gigs. If you don't want to get that, uh, if you don't want to get that one, it costs almost $1,000, so I wouldn't suggest buying it yet. If you don't want to get that, then get the um, 32 gigabyte. 32 gigabyte you can get flash drives. from Alienware, actually, and they're about $75, which is more reasonable, or even go to Walmart and get a, Eight gig for almost twenty dollars, or you go to Longford Library and get a one gig for six dollars, which is a ripoff. But <laughs> indeed, six dollars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so um, I guess I'll start off. Uh, also, talk about that USBs are not just meant for um, uh, your flash drives. USBs are in any format. Or USBs do just about anything to your computer. You can get a USB to you uh, get external. USB. Uh, Ends. Ends. Yeah, you can get external everything. So you can transfer everything. information. You can get external floppy drives. External floppy drives, external. CD-ROM drives. Uh, for example, I have this nice handy mouse here, wireless mouse. Comes with a USB, so I could just plug that in my USB. Nice little mouse. It's the wireless mouses that usually do that. And, yeah, um, the wireless mice usually do that, and that's what I like about it. There's a ton of USB add-ons. You yeah, know. USBs. They came out. They with have a USB ton of stuff. heaters, um, external hard drives like we've talked and about. And you could buy USB outlets yeah. for your home. I mean, just hook them up to your regular outlet, and then plug in a USB to it. And you know, USBs are gonna. I think USBs are gonna take over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to a commercial, and, and we'll, we'll be back with our next segment on YouTube. Second. Yep, YouTube. And they're Fred. Finally, that's over. Yeah, now we can have a cigarette. I'll take one. Me too. Just Just because because they're models doesn't mean they're role models. Does anyone need a smoke? Yeah, I'm dying for one. Yeah, hand one over. Just because they're cool doesn't mean smoking is. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, it's over. I need a break. Does anyone have a cigarette in their pocket? Sure.
The following is a public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. Please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of creation, and thank throw you. it in yeah, the no, middle or something. Hello. Okay, we're back. we're back to our second segment on YouTube, YouTube. videos. Okay. Um, <laughs> This segment, we're going to be showing you a clip of just a mix of YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to show that right now. Yeah. Eric, in the booth there, has forgot about our YouTube segment. Okay. Hey, it's Red! Welcome to Red Talk Hi, I'm Alan. I'm Thomas. What's happening, There's Forum? A... Chris Skimpier Guru here. Whenever I can. What the box. I've been waiting for this day my whole entire life! I see things not sexy. Internet. Philip DeFranco. Any who's ever let a fat lady ride a camel? Headshot. Rocking on the rocking chair. Okay. Now that was our video that we played. I made a little mix. Now it was kind of. It kind of froze in a couple of places, so yeah, it wasn't, we yeah. we tried to fix that, but it wouldn't fix. Yeah, for it wouldn't some reason. fix for some reason. Uh, it was right in the part where uh, SEX Phil there. He yeah. he didn't show the camera falling. It was actually or the lady riding the camera. Oh, uh, we're gonna tell you about that clip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's actually <laughs> that was a, a clip funny that clip. he takes, and he there's a girl sitting on no, a camera. No, he didn't take the film. He yeah, no, copies it off he camera. copied it. He talked about it where there's a a a, a big chick. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah. Big boned chick sitting She's on a camera. Adopted. Adopted, <laughs> sitting on a camel, and the camel falls off from the weight, and then because the girl is so big, that was a funny video. So you know, it uh, was we had, it was what pretty we funny. Have in there? We had SXC Phil. Okay, let's explain a little bit of what SXE Phil does. SXE Phil is like kind of like we do, but meaner and more swearing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because and if we did this show on YouTube, that <laughs> we can't. We all can't, the time. We can't do any swearing, so. What he does is basically what we do, talk about the world and he talks funny about, YouTube videos. But he doesn't just talk about technology. He talks about all kinds of funny stuff. Yes. Uh, as long as, uh, as well as Equals 3. Yeah, Equals, equals 3. three. Yeah. He's, uh, he's uh, Ray Johnson, something like that. He's, he's funny, too. Yeah, he's funny, he too. Keeps calling um, us, he keeps telling everybody about... He's calling us for him for some reason. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah. I'm sure... He has some special reason for doing it, but I don't like it. He's like, he says it 24-7. Yeah, he says, he says, hello, Forum. Yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, Forum, yeah. look at you laughing. I'm not Forum here. Yeah. I have a name, okay. You don't have to say my name, but you can say, all right, YouTube, but not Forum. Yeah. Forum is not a f Yeah. Ah. Forum's not uh, a name. Fail. Okay, another guy that was on there was... Um, what the Buck? What the Buck, which was on um, WPA he for was on a matter of time. Table a little, for two. Uh, yeah, a little old time. He was yeah, on he was WPA. On WPA, and now he gets, I think uh, Eric he, said he gets paid now to do he, what he does. He moved. Yeah. And now I, I guess. Now he, he does stuff all over Connecticut. Yes. And he is one of the more popular people for their, for uh, watching videos. Indeed. Even. He's, uh, he's not Even though bad. he's a little uh, sarcastic. A little, a not sarcastic. Little, he's, a, he's also a little out there, but <laughs> he's not that bad. He's kind of funny. He is. Uh, sometimes I can't understand his videos, but They're he so has fast. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it down there. Uh, yeah. Besides um, that, they're yeah, hilarious. Uh, that I was mean. the what the buck one, and then their uh, equals three <laughs> was the one with the guy got hit in the head with the football. Yeah, if you saw that, yeah, he that doesn't really funny. say that. He no, says, uh, 
You he see actually, that new Hannah Montana? Okay, yeah. we can't say the rest. Yeah, we, but he actually swore if, in the video, so I took that if out you and look I replaced at e it. If you search equals three, there's a clip no, on that. No, equals three doesn't work. You have to search Ray Johnson or something. Ray, Ray, if you search like Ray Johnson, okay, it'll come up. And there you yeah, go. Yeah, um, but... He is pretty funny. Yeah, he's pretty funny. But um, also, uh, like, he swore in the movie, so I replaced it with a uh, thing that said... Uh, oh, I didn't... There's what the buck. Yeah, there's what the buck. There's Fred. There's uh -huh. Fred. I don't like Fred. I don't like Fred either. There's Sexy Phil. He's cool. Yep, that's Sexy Phil. Well, this is the part that froze. That should have been played. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so, but um, it, like I replaced it with a uh, thing that said headshot in the uh, movie, uh, in the in video game. Instead of the. Uh, the swear there. Yeah, he we, says headshot yeah, he head and shot. gets right in the head. Yeah, and what he really said, what he says, he's like, hey, have you seen the uh, new Hannah Montana? Have you seen the new Hannah Montana? Bam! You know, <laughs> he's like, I love how like he's just randomly walking and all of a sudden he's like, have you seen new Hannah Montana? Bam! Okay, what ended up happening was a field goal kicker was kicking the winning field goal of the game. It and goes he got through. It. Yep. He got it. He got it. It was goal. Oh my god. It was goal. Yes! But. He also it goes through and hits a random guy who's just yeah, walking just on the walking field, walking around in the right field, right in the head, right in he the just head. collapses. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was hilarious. Another um, another video that went viral was uh, the video. Yeah. This equals three shows it. It's a girl trying to ride a mechanical bull. She's, I'll say she's adopted. She's once adopted, again. <laughs> and she's riding a mechanical bull, and she does a flying elbow spin off the top rope, as <laughs> Forum calls it over there. Equals three. But what she really does is she goes forward on her first try. Yeah, as a, she's all like, I'm going to do this. And then she like. And she just flips. Yeah. yeah, and she goes far. Um, it's kind of funny. I mean, if you yeah, like funny. It's, it's a pretty hilarious film. Yeah. Fred. It's, yeah. Okay, Fred. Fred, don't even I get don't, started. I don't it's like It's annoying. Him. He's like, I'm Fred. I, yeah. Shut up, okay? In the, in the Shut up. In the original video, um, not when we did the mix, I had to edit out the screams because. Our mom was like yelling at us, like, get rid of the screams, get rid of the screams. Yeah, uh, was, they're really yeah, annoying. They, like, you know, if you keep watching really it, annoying, like, it's kind of yeah. really annoying. Yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't so suggest I watching him. Yeah, I wouldn't. I looked up funny vids for the show, and it, you can look up F funny space. It's funny vids. B I D S. It's called the COD4 like impersonation or something. Well, you could search COD4, you could search funny vids COD4, and that works too. Yeah, okay. And it shows up that these three guys who are just normal people, but they're like in a bush. Three, if you played three the Xbox 360, you know, you know what we're talking about. It's the live, and they're sitting there. They're, and they're, they're real people, but they're supposed to be in COD. They're holding like what well, looks like real guns. The reason we didn't put it in there, there's a little yeah, extensive swearing. violence. That's why we didn't put half the videos. We a put a in, little extensive so. swearing there. So with that, I mean, we can't really edit them out very easily, and it was just more better that we left it out. But the guy, pretty much, he's sitting in a bush, and it's about... Guys who talk, if you ever played live with a headset, people talk on there that's and like the guys, and in the, the guy background. in the middle is like randomly talking. Like yeah, he's, he's like, talking. I'm going to make, I'm, I'm going to have my mom make me a sandwich, guys. Okay, we don't care. Shut up and shoot. And they don't. Yeah. So they continue, to, the guy continues talking. Watch the okay, video. Okay, okay. Yeah, fun. we got the video. It's funny. Yes. Um, I also recommend SXC Phil. He's hilarious. I recommend him 100%. Yeah, he yeah. gives you news and he gives you... At first you you're like, you're like, who's this SXC Phil guy? Well, this so I, so I wrong. thought he, I thought he sounded like a loser, but when I watched him, he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. He's L hilarious. Little and mild and language. Once again, he swears. So. But definitely yeah. worth watching. Yeah, definitely worth watching. So yeah, well, that's another reason why we couldn't put his videos up on the air on WPAA. They're also on Thanks. our website. Yes, it, there's so links to So if you go to our website, website, I have all links for the videos that we cannot show that, is, that we uh, want to show you. That's there let's talk it is, tech right dot co dot cc. Right there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to another commercial, and we will be back in a sec. Finally, that's over. Yeah, now we can have a cigarette. I'll take one. Me too. Just because they're models doesn't mean they're role models. Does anyone need a smoke? Yeah, I'm dying for one. Yeah, hand one over. Just because they're cool doesn't mean smoking is. Oh, 
I need a break. Does anyone have a cigarette in their pocket? Sure. Okay, welcome back. Wrapping it up in our last like three minutes of the show. Okay, this is speed news with Let's Talk yes, Tech. Yes, speedy news. Okay. okay, so a guy, our first thing is a guy in a New York's public library walks into a library with an Xbox 360, a wireless uh, router, right. and a controller no, 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 and a, a headset. Wireless, yeah, just and a headset. Wi walks into a public library to steal the wireless Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Takes him Most 20 minutes. Most impressive way to steal Wi Fi. It takes him 20 minutes to set all this stuff up. Oh. When he finally gets it set up, he's sitting there, he's playing. He probably wouldn't have gotten caught, though, because he brought it the brought headset, his headset and, and started, started yelling screaming at, his teammates. at his teammates to cover the, the flag. flag. Cover, cover the flag. Cover the flag. Cover he's the flag. He's like, cover the flag. That's the picture of the guy. He's sitting in a library screaming at his teammates. Took him two minutes to get kicked out. Everybody came. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's not going to do that. That is well. fail. He got that kicked out so fail fast. Yeah, it was amazing. Fail okay. Our second segment in our new segment, which we have to do really fast. Our second segment is it's Windows 7. Windows once again. 7 RC. They put it back on the web for IT specialists to try out for 90 days. It's the same thing as the other one for the people who missed out, but you have to be an IT specialist. And I don't know it was why only for 90 that. days instead of till March. Yep, it's only till 90 days. I don't know why they did that, but it's only till 90 days. Uh, okay. Okay, and you can improve it to up to 120 days, and that's it. You can find now, out more at letstalktech.co.cc. Okay, that's now our show. we're going to go next to our last ending part. What's our last ending part? Next segments. Okay, next week's. Next week's segment is Steam, followed by GPS. If you don't know what GPS is, that's fine. We'll tell you about it. Okay, Steam is also, tell them. Steam is a gaming little host thing where you can buy games. That's and our show. Yeah, that's our show. See you next week. Thanks for watching. We will see you back next week. Visit us at Let's Talk Texas. See you next week.